we're going to talk about Mach 5 pumps and we're going to talk about suction leaks this time. Suction leaks occur on the line between the pump and the tank and the, which is called the suction line and what suction leaks allow to happen is they allow air to enter the suction line. Usually water does not leak out because the pump is mounted higher than the tank so when the pump is at rest if you have a suction leak the water will drain back to the tank and a little bit of air will get in the suction line and then the next time the Mach 5 starts like you open the faucet or start to take a shower or something uh, you may not get the flow that this air will go in the pump and you may not get the flow rate in the pump to eject this air and then this will cause the pump either to show a, a a dry alarm if it's a bad suction leak, the pump thinks the tank is empty and it just turns itself off, but more often than not it'll just get air caught in the pump and it'll cause the pump to go into a cycling mode and this cycling mode will make it shut off like, like we said earlier uh, on a cycle alarm. So uh, suction leaks are, can be a real problem. The most common suction leaks far and away are leaks somewhere around the strainer basket. On the inlet side of every Mach 5 there's a strainer basket that keeps debris out of the uh, pump and it has hose barbs on it or pipe fittings on it and almost every suction leak is one of those hose barbs. The hose barb on the Mach 5 or the o-ring on the strainer basket has it is not sealed tightly. So when you have a pump that you just primed it and it's working great and everything's fine and then you come back in a couple hours or particularly the next morning and the pump is an alarm again that's almost never the pump and almost always a suction leak so that gives you some ideas of where to look for a suction leak.